This is the plaintiff, Adrian Winefield Bird. She says the defendant, her nightmare former roommate, owes her money, refuses to pay, and she's very angry about it. The guy was a total screw-up. One of his woman friends walked into her bedroom in the middle of the night naked, and needless to say, they didn't get along. Now that he's moved out, he refuses to pay her the $4,245.24 he owes her for rent and bills. So she's suing. This is the defendant, Raymond Klepper. He says the plaintiff's a very dramatic person. And as time went on, her behavior escalated to her being downright violent towards him. He was afraid to come home and was forced to move out due to her erratic, bizarre behavior. He doesn't owe this woman any money because she forced him out of the apartment and he thinks the judge will agree. He's accused of running away from a roommate. All parties, please raise your right hand. Ms. Hita, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Adrian Weinfeld Berg, you are suing Raymond Klepper for $4,245.24 that you say he owes you in rent, bills, and defamation. Tell me what's going on. First, Your Honor, I'm very nervous. Okay, well, take a deep breath. <gasps> And just tell me your okay. story. I'm very honored to be in your courtroom. Thank you. I watch your show all the time. You watch me too, right? No. Say yes so we can even yes. the playing field. There we go. <laughs> okay. So go ahead. Tell okay. me what's going on. And I just want to say if I win this case, I'm going to law school. Okay. Well, and if you don't. And if I don't, I'm going to law school. There you go. All right. Okay. So why don't you tell right. me your story? First, I'd like to start with the fact that uh, Mr. Klepper is a serial debtor. A serial what? Debtor. Debtor? And I have proof of judgments. May I approach the bench? No, I'd like you to tell me the story in this case, and then okay. we'll talk about that. Okay. So go ahead. Okay. I've been living in my home for 15 years, and I've always had excellent people. I rent a room in the house. I rent a front bedroom, shared kitchen and bath. Never had any problem until this happened. Um, okay. I posted on Craigslist, right. and it was a nightmare. I'm a freelance fashion editor and an antique dealer. I have a lot of stuff in my house. I don't rent out the living room. That's my office. Was that advertised? Yes. Okay. And uh, when do the problems begin? Well, when he originally emailed me, I understood that he had an office and he was going to be working out of his office. When he got to my place, I noticed that he was not going out at all. He was in the house all the time. There was no office. And I said, what's going on? And why did you have the impression that he had an office to go to? Because he told me. Okay, and, why and I believe was, it's in one of the what, emails. What did he tell you about why he wasn't going to the office? Uh, because he had let the office go. He wasn't renting the office. He, he was he thinking he was going. So he's get... hanging around too much. What else? What was the next problem? Well, there were a lot of problems. Uh, all I can say is it was like a bad marriage. It was a very abusive relationship. Um, abusive. Yes, abusive. How so? Verbally. Okay. And I'm not saying that I wasn't as well, but he goaded me, he would curse at me. For example, he once said to me, and I have it in an email, he said, Adrian, don't screw around with me because Angry Ray is a mean MF. Okay. Which kind of scared me. Okay. You know, I mean, I'm not 20 years old. I've had hip and knee replacements. You know, I, I don't want to have people pushing me and shoving me and... Did anybody you know, ever push or shove no, anybody? No, he never laid a hand on me. Okay, Although, and in your answer to the complaint, you say she was violent like 50 times. What did you mean by would, violent? She would yell and scream. She would slam doors throughout the apartment. That's not true, you so Did she ever hit you? No, she didn't. Okay. She threatened to throw my stuff away, things of that nature. So uh, suffice it to say that this, this did not work out? No. no. Okay, so when did you get out? Not until September of 2016. Oh, seriously? Oh, so you <laughs> yeah. say this was a bad marriage that lasted a year and a half, yeah. not the... No, two, not, and, two and a half years. Two and a half years? Yes. You guys were together? Yes. Wow. <laughs> okay. Not so together. So what else <laughs> happened that upset you there? You, you well, felt like it was taken over were, the place? He met a young lady, and he kind of sort of practically moved her into the home. And we had terrible, terrible fights about that. So in order to goad me... He starts screaming and yelling at me, and he came right up in my face. Now, you know, I'm not afraid. Come on, I'm pretty strong. And I'm not afraid that he, if he had laid a hand on me, I would have laid him out, but he didn't. 
So listen, I have That's twin. Big guy. I, I have twin boys, Your Honor. Please, I've been. Oh, yeah, there. I wouldn't okay? miss Okay, I have twin. Boys. All right. So anyway, so, so this particular instance, this girl, young girl, very nice girl, lovely girl. I'm sleeping in my bed. It was a Monday morning, and I hear, you know, my door's closed, and I hear, like this, somebody trying to get into my bedroom. So I kind of like got up out of my sleep, and there's this naked girl, totally stark naked, standing in my room. And I, in your room? Yes, in my bedroom. And I said, what are you doing here? Get the out of my room. Now, if my <laughs> granddaughter was there with me, or I was, or my son. My was son, she horrified? Uh, I, I mean, she should be walking around naked anyway to somebody else. No, else's. I think she was drunk. In the morning? Yes. OK. All right. And uh, I have proof of that. Well, that must that. have been a good night. All I right. Have, um, I have proof of that. All right, so personal time cleaning. According to you, he left the place messy when yes, he left. Yes, I have a picture. OK. Thank you. Can I go on, Your Honor? Because yeah. there's something else I'd like to say. He told me that if I impeded his move, uh, because many, many times before when he was late with the rent, I had to borrow He told my, you that when he moved what? He would call the police okay. and have me arrested. OK. Uh, what, only... what were you thinking? How, how were you thinking she would impede your move? She'll, she just wants to get involved in everything that's going on around. She wouldn't leave me alone. She's just always up in my business at all times. Like doing what? Just wanting to yell and talk and uh, just interact in a, too much of a friendship manner. Like, I don't care. I'm just renting to pay for the room. I want to go into my room, be left alone. But it's, that's just not the way she works. Okay. But I, you were there a long time. I know. That's she, the part. Was it a great kept, apartment? She kept begging me to stay. No, I know. But, she, but so what? <laughs> that doesn't mean. You know, I'm lazy. You're not, you're not like, he's you lazy. know, this isn't charity. He's you lazy. St I'm, I'm lazy. Hello? No, he said that. Yeah, yeah. I need you to stop. Okay, sorry. So, it, you know, it's not, you know, you did stay. That's I not, know. you weren't doing her a favor. Was it a great apartment? Was it in a great location? What was the reason that you would stay? It's just convenience. Really? Because you're lazy? I had everything moved in and I was just convenient. Ah, I was already with it. there. Like, yeah, it's like, yeah. <laughs> is that simple? All right. Um, so, okay, is this a picture of the room? Yeah. Okay, I mean, he left a few things on the floor and stuff, but yeah, what but is it you're charging $100 also, for? Well, also the closet. There was a tremendous Do you have other amount. pictures to show no, me? No, I don't. You're this right. is the only picture you have I to have. show me? Yes. And he I mean, not... this is like 10 minutes of picking up stuff. That's well, how is that $100? But there was a lot of vacuuming. I had to clean out the closet. He didn't come back until the 5th of October. And what did he do on the 5th of October? Well, he had my keys. He was supposed to leave my keys, and yeah. he took my keys. And as a matter of fact, I'd like to show you something. No, I don't need to see it. Okay. He, he, so on the 5th of October, he gives you back the keys? Yes. With okay, but is this duress. the sum total picture evidence you have of That's the, any That's what mess? I have, yes. Okay, what's a defamation? Okay, I'm going to show you. You're suing for $500 you. yes, for yes, defamation. Yes, yes. One of the things that I... I was very sick last year. I had a staphylococcal infection. And I came back, and in the whole time I was in the nursing home, I was on antibiotic for two months. They thought I had Ebola. Thank God I'm here. My son says I'm like a cockroach. Nothing can kill me. OK, so come back, and I have to get a raised toilet seat. And this particular photograph of the raised toilet, you see it says wings on it. Um, I had to have a raised toilet. So. He went in my bathroom and took a picture of my toilet and put it on his Facebook page so that everybody could see it. And he was mocking me and uh, defaming me. Here's what I don't get. Did all this stuff is way a while ago, before, while he's still living with you. Did yeah. you know about this while No, was, I did not. So what did you do? You went to his Facebook page, and then you When just... I was researching this case, yes. And friends of mine also, and they called me, and they said, Adrian, you can't believe what he's done on his Facebook and Twitter page about you and your home and That's your possessions and your rude. toilet. Very rude. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. If you're in a relationship and pretty quickly there are threats of violence, do you try and work it out or do you bail? You get out of there as fast as you can. You do not stay. One threat. One threat. What do you say? Get out of there. It's not worth it. What if you really, really like the other person? Do you give it a chance or not? Uh, yeah, I think you should give it a chance. <laughs> oh, Don't even know what God, why did I just know I shouldn't have gone to him? I just looked at you and knew it, but I did it. Going inside the courtroom. It's not for her. It's a jokey thing for me. <sighs> yeah. Okay. At another point, he posted in 2015, I blank you not, I currently have a roommate oh. who's exactly like the mother from Requiem for a Dream. Have you seen the film, Your Honor? I have not. Okay, can I tell you what the mother was like? Yeah. Drug addicted, popping diet pills. Yeah, crazy like me. 
<laughs> but I'm not a drug addict, and I don't want to be on a game show. Okay. And it was a very, very, very derogative remark. Well, what about the Requiem for a Dream comment? That's kind of directly about her. Well, that's the way she is. Yeah. Okay. All right, so now, did you have a security deposit in play, or had you lived out a security deposit? I, had, I did not have a security deposit due to a previous violent outburst of hers when I said I was going to move, and I said that, rent's go, that security deposit's going to be paying this month of rent, and that was Well, you know that's not what a security deposit is that for, That is true. Right? That is true, but okay. she became so and violent and aggressive. And when you stayed, why did, she, why did you let him stay without paying another security well, deposit? Well, let me tell you, because he's not telling you the truth, Your Honor. No, he if he lived out a security deposit, which you also say in your complaint, why did you let him stay when he didn't? Okay. pay another security deposit. I was deposit. afraid. First of all, he asked me to use the security deposit. He, there was no violent. He asked me to use... This was a year or so before he moved out. Okay, so there's no so security deposit in play. Now it's September. It. Did you pay September rent? No. Why didn't you pay September? I didn't feel comfortable being in the apartment and said, I'm just leaving. I don't want to deal with you anymore. Let's just part ways. Okay, and there was no lease by this point. It was a month no. to month, right? No lease, so yes. you would have to give 30 days notice anyway. All right, so when did you tell her, that's it, I'm leaving? 20, maybe the 22nd of September? 22nd of September. Yes. Correct. So you didn't give her 30 days notice? No. All right. So you're suing for September and October. Yes. And then uh, defendant's share of Time Warner bill for August and September, yes. and you say that's $50. Is that correct, that it was about 100 bucks every month? So your share was 50 About that. All right. And then his share of the Con Ed bill, which you say is $75.24. Does that sound correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's discuss October. According to you, what does he leave in the closet? Oh, he left a lot of stuff in the closet. Didn't come back until October 5th. I couldn't rent the room. He, oh, when he came back to my house, he opened the door in October with my keys. He came right into my house. I said, what are you doing? Is that accurate? Yes. Because okay. I hadn't given her the so keys So why back. shouldn't you have to pay October if you're leaving stuff there and you're walking in <laughs> with your key? Uh, I don't know. Your Honor, <laughs> how much stuff did you leave what behind? Do you want to know? Did you pick up the rest of the stuff on October 5th and take it all with you? Not yes. all of it. No, Your Honor, on not October all of it. On October 5th, I, I took everything except for one small uh, bookcase. And what did you do with the bookcase? I left it behind. I, th I had to dismantle a lot of stuff and throw it out, and a lot of stuff in the closet, a lot of trash. Did Me. you return the keys October 5th? Yes. Yeah, I'm going to deem that you uh, owe rent for October, too. Thank you, Your Honor. And you agree to your share of the electric bill and the con ed, uh, I'm sorry, the electric bill and the internet bill. I don't find that you're gonna owe for personal time cleaning. I don't think there's $100 worth of picking up six items on that. And I don't find, um, I don't think that it makes out a defamation case. It's oh, rude, right, but I don't think it's a defamation case. I'm finding in favor of the plaintiff that you owe her $2,545.24. That's my verdict. Good Thank luck, you, folks. Your Honor. Thank Hold you. So, the plaintiff gets a judgment for just over $2,500. Mr. Klepper, yes. how do you feel about the outcome of this case? I just want her to go away from me. I don't want to talk to you her. You want her to go away from me? No, yes. you go away from her. <laughs> sure. Okay. All right. You, you put a lot of stuff about her on Facebook. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> no, I didn't. There was one thing, but it was all for personal it's use. Kind of a lot of a joke. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Right. You must sign some documents outside. Here comes the plaintiff. I'm a happy girl today. You're a happy girl. Are you going to go to law school now? I am. Are you serious? I am. Really? I made a promise to my friends, and they said, come on, stop being a fashion editor. Stop yeah. being an antique dealer. Go to law school. You're great. Go to law school. It's never too late to go to law school? Never too you late. You think I'd be a good lawyer? What? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you said you watch this show all watch the time. Watch the show a lot, and I'm a what, great devotee of the judge. What was it like being a litigant in uh, front of the judge? Surreal. Surreal? Surreal. Look. This guy is a criminal. Yeah, I, okay. I had to punish him for what he did. I had to get some restitution, and I did. Okay. And you weren't nervous in front of her? I was. You were? Okay. Well, congratulations. Thank you and very much. And you're very cute. Okay. Much cuter in real <laughs> life than you are on camera. Oh, my God. Thank you. Oh, Harvey, what do you think? <laughs> okay, Doug, I mean, look. I, I, this is just ridiculous. At a point, you just got to sit down with the other person you know, sometimes you can actually do this. Sit down and say, this is not working. We need an exit plan. And that will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.